Hello there guys, welcome to episode 17. We are just about to take on Reading away in the second division. We've just had a fantastic 6-2 win at home to Bournemouth. Um, we seem to be in the right direction. We changed things tactically last time, whereby we decided to put the wingers out a bit further instead of pushing forward. He's decided to go to Chicago, which is... Yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? We also sold Richie Wellins, which gave us some um, vital funds, actually, to purchase some players. Um, we've put a few bids in. We kind of need to spend that money now, I think. Um, but that's exactly what I said with Neil Cox again. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I think I, I actually think we're, if we get who I want to get, we're sorted in terms of defence. He is actually not a bad player, this Gary Locke. As a defensive mid as well. He could be the answer. Let me try very, very cheap. It's a cheeky bid. I'm not going to spend the whole game doing this, guys. Don't worry. Oh, hey, he seems quite creative. It's a, he's, yeah. 200k. Ian Hillier, no. There's loads of good players that you can decide from here. You know, it goes all the way to... Don't, don't know who this guy is. No idea. But he seems to be interested in me. Uh, the right back from loan from Barcelona seems to be interested now, which is always nice. Mike Taylor, that's annoying because he is actually a very, very good keeper. But I'm not, I'm not going to buy him because I've got Clayton Ince coming in on a free at the end of the season. I mean, I think this is where our frailties lie. Paul Barnes is not a good enough keeper for us. Um, 67 goals conceded. I, mean, I know we played 44 games, but yeah, see, they've paid 650k, 675k. It's <laughs> how much is he worth? Let me just check this. He's worth 190 grand, but they're paying them 675 grand in a compensation fee. I just don't get that. Oh, yeah, we also put a bid for Danny Higginbottom because he's got pace on the left-hand side. I'm going to put 300. We'll see if that um, changes anything. Oh, Red in a second. This is not going to be pretty for us, I don't think. Oh, Reed is back, actually, from suspension, so I'm going to put Reed back in. We want the experience in defence. We'd cut, yeah. So this was the formation that we played last time. It seemed to work okay. Um, I'm going to keep it because we still only have the one striker, which is what I prefer to do away from home. But then you're playing against the second of the league, aren't you? So already we've seen the frailties that we've got being exposed by these guys. I I, I think it's going to be hard to get something here. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it, yeah. I just think it's too too tricky. Alex Smith, he was actually a really good player. I'm sure he went to Wrexham. He came to Chester as well, actually. Yeah. Actually, he is a really good player. Okay, he's got 24 assists. Yes, he was at Chester. Yeah. He's actually a really good player. I quite like him. I'm going to add him to my shortlist. I mean, not that he'd come to me anyway. Look, they're getting 14,000 at home, for Christ's sake. Why would you want to come to us? The Tim Pot Stadium with 6,000. Um, we're coming to the end now, but there seems to be quite a few home games coming up, which is quite nice. Oh, there we go, an equaliser, Brett Ormerod. Ah, didn't last long. Jamie Curiton. I think he's still playing somewhere now. He's like 40-odd. That guy just keeps going. Um, I don't know whether I want to change something... I might change something actually. I'm going to. I'm going to put Clarkson on. In, oh no, Ormrod's playing quite well. Now I'm going to put Clarkson on instead of Richardson. Yeah, he's not playing that good at all. Let's change that over quickly. Is it going to do anything? No, no. Do you know what? It was. It was. It was actually a respectable performance. It was, to be fair. Oldham next. They're close to us as well. We are gradually fading away from this playoff position here of 6th place um, I do like Gary Locke I'm going, to, I'm going to put another bid in for him I think it's important that we try and um, push ourselves now to actually get quality players ready for next season if we get into the playoffs anything's possible but oh that was 375 oh e mm. Let's do installments. Let's see if they'll accept installments here. 
Okay, they're in a, yeah, I'll accept that. That's not a bad uh, price for Gary Locke. It's below his asking price, which is brilliant, right? He's willing to come to us here, which is very, very good. Let's get that down. I don't want to be paying ridiculous money here. That's okay. He hasn't got any bonuses. Wonderful. He's coming to us. I don't know. Is he coming to us now? I don't know. No, he's not here for this game, but he might be coming to us very soon. Right, McLeod and Richardson are very tired. So I'm going to shove this guy on. I'm going to put Clarkson on as well for the right. Um, I'm going to have to remember to put those back for the next game. But this is actually a really important game against Oldham because they're close to us here. <clears throat> it's just down to whether home advantage will will actually be an advantage, really. And it's clear that it's not going to be. I'm just having a look at their team now, seeing if I recognise anyone. Stephen Warnock, yeah, is he on loan from Liverpool? Um, David Ayres, he rings a bell. Matthew Tipton, I've heard of him. Oh, we just need to get a goal. See, we are pushing here. I can I can see just by the, the screen that we're, we're really pushing. We just can't seem to get there. Again, 5,900. We're... we're we are really filling this stadium, which which annoys me that we can't, we can't expand. Thing is, if you go on a good run as well, that's when the fans really come in. And we're not even on a good run here, and we're still getting the fans. I can't believe it. How, how have we got beat here? How have we got beat? To be fair, we've taken the... T and there's a penalty there. We've taken... I'm going to bring Richardson on here for Clarkson. Um, yeah. Okay, there's one back. So he's come on and taken the penalty. Nah, not good enough. I don't, I, we're not going up. Let's be perfectly honest. We're... We're lacking here, I think. We're lacking here in just general quality. That's a sad reality of things, but um Bristol City away next. They're a big club. Yeah, if we if we get beat here we've pretty much had it. I can't I can't see playoffs after this. Uh so we've got Higginbottom, Lock. Yeah, let's bring this down a bit. I don't want to spend too much money. Okay. Yeah, he's accepted it. Brilliant. That's two very good buys, actually, which might come in very handy. Transfer deadline today. Do you know what? We've done quite well to get them in when we did, actually. So, yeah. Yeah, see. So, I'm going to put him left back. I am going to take Strachan out now because I think it's important that Locke plays for the majority of the time because I know that Strachan is going to go. Hills is another one. I could actually put on the transfer list at the end of the season. I'm not going to put him on now. Um, Madeira is a bit tired as well. Um, here's a chance for Fenton. I am, I am going to give him a chance. But that's two players. I mean, what we've done there is we've, we've bolstered the squad. And that for next season is going to be crucial. So that little bit of money that we got has actually gone a long way in terms of trying to create a squad because of the two players that we've got to learn I do want McLeod, I want to keep him I think he's a quality player, I think he's more important to us now than Gavin Strachan is um, but we, we can't afford McLeod and he's on a contract till about 05 so there's definitely no way that we're going to get him which is kind of sad really because I think he's he's a player that probably won't play for Everton someone will probably come in for a bid but unfortunately we just don't have the money to, to facilitate that at the moment it's not a bad half, that. 1-0. I mean, it's the hope that kills you, isn't it, really? And Tramir as well. Another away game with, with a rival. I just I can't see us doing it, especially like the double. I can't see us doing both of these games. I mean, how's... I mean, how are we doing... Higginbottom's playing a 6. Locke's playing a 6. I don't really know how we're still winning this game, to be honest with you. We've got Madeira on the bench. Fenton's playing a six. I might bring Madeira on for this last bit. Let me bring him on here. I'm bringing him on. All right, come on. Oh. <laughs> I, bring, I knew it. I knew it. I knew. How annoying is that? I wonder if I would have kept Fenton on 
it, in the scheme of things, it's not that bad, is it? No. Right, I'm going to put Murphy in the reserves. I don't like having to... I don't like a big squad where I've got to look down at things. I'm going to put Blinkhorn on loan. I don't think there's any point in him being in the first team if he's not going to play. Um, but I'm going to leave it there, guys. So we've got Tramir next and then Brighton and Cardiff. We have a little spell. We're coming very close to the end of the season here. Um, but, yeah, things aren't really going our way at the minute. Form seems to be going out the window. But in terms of signings, we're doing okay. I think we're building something for the future here. Anyway, guys, please go ahead and hit that like button, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.